Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Breath of Fire 2, and uh, we need to pick a carpenter for our town. Now there are three options here. We have uh, this fancy town here, a uh, fancy building rather. We have the wood buildings, and we have the normal style buildings. Now, each one brings a benefit to uh, the town you're about to build. And uh, I think it's a hint on where we're going next. Uh, this one will allow you to um, build a bar that kind of has a bunch of NPCs that tell you how your progress is going, like so many times ran away, this, that, and the other. Uh, this one here, you have a game of Othello, which uh, will get you some weapons and armor, but otherwise isn't as good. And then you have this one, which allows you to cook things by taking two ingredients and smashing them together to make a new item. This is very, very handy. You can make pretty much infinite money out of this thing if you know what to do, and you can make a whole bunch of stat boosts and other things to make yourself pretty much invincible, so I think this will be the one that we get. Build me a house. I burned old granny's house down. Show me where you want it. And there he goes. Jobs are my specialty. Wish me luck. Alright, so, ends that. They're gonna build my house so I can move on. Hop on the boat and chase that Batman girl to the next continent. Look like a dingy. <laughs> Hungry for some bud whales? Whale Cape is just a short trip through Sharon Woods from here. Whatever. forest. No enemies. Bunch of frogs, though. Get it. <laughs> no, no, over here. Big old goofy looking frog. Bonjour, brave travel people. And they call me Tapetta. I've been, how you say, accursed by a young lady magician, put in this most questionable position. She lives in the witch's tower west of this place. She's not unkind, perhaps a bit, how you say, unhinged? Please proceed with due haste, Steve play. I'm just gonna say the same thing. Now, I don't know if I'm high enough level to do that yet. So it may involve me kind of building up my strength. I'm also unfamiliar with this area. <laughs> Bottom feeder. First things first, I need to find a resting point so that we can rest if need be. More of these guys. Not that strong though. They hit hard enough though. Ooh, I found dynamite. <laughs> Fortunately, I can't go south yet because I can't walk through the damn trees. 
more flies. Nails above. And of course they're good at curses. At least they're easily killed. I think curse persists through battle, so. Yep. I don't remember what it does, honestly. Except make a little laughing skull above your head going, bye 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 bye. now, thankfully. Alright, so, let's find that tower. Oh, creepy with the pegs. Andoricium and bomb seeds. Has little pigtails. So easily defeated. Charging up, huh? these can drop uh, armor, so fighting these would be good, good practice for that. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Okay. There's the tower. I get to him, you're so tired. <laughs> I do like how fast those guys drop. Alright, so here's the tower. And quite the handsome catch. Making me fight. Fashions and magician mummies. They look like the mummies from the first game, too. Nice little hand movement there. Not too bad. So this is actually a random, uh, random event here, like, you either can have like two to four fights here, right at the doorway, before it opens. It's actually pretty annoying. And two. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can. Uh, here, using my powers, and I'll probably end up going back and leveling up a bit in between episodes, and I'll, uh, oops. That did something. Exit has been sealed. Probably won't be able to escape now. 
Fire Tower is a monument to the witch's sick fantasies. Once she's got you, you've got hell to look forward to. Ooh, creepy. I'm also kind of stuck here now. Found a Panacea, though. Maybe there'll be a place I can heal. Like a drinking fountain or something. Down to the other side. Alright, so I actually I think the only way other out of yeah, the other way out of here, now that the door is sealed, is uh jumping down a hole. <laughs> so hopefully we run into that hole so we know how to get out of here if need be. Statues everywhere. There's a treasure room. There's a hole. fights to deal with now. I will say these monsters aren't too tough. They're still... they're hitting me, but they're not too, too bad. I hope they stay that way. Found some ginseng. Now what does that do? Temporary boost attack. Good for battle. Okay. I just realized I have no idea where to go. Looks like we get more moving platform time. Mm, thanks for the poison. And the curse. Okay, so that's what they do. They annoy you. <laughs> So it kind of sucks that I don't have a real healer. I guess I could have brought Rand. Rand does have some heals, but not as good. Let's see, antidote. Didn't I pick up an extra antidote? Yes, I did. Alright, so... More of these. Of course, I'm cursed and poisoned now. I 
Okay. This is gonna be more problematic than I thought. Here's what I'm gonna do. On the next episode, I'm gonna play with these a little bit. On the next episode, we will either find our way out, or maybe I'll do that in between episodes and grind a little bit and come back and be a little bit more prepared for this place, because I realize that in terms of antidotes, I am not prepared, or as prepared as I really feel I should be. So, let me work on stuff in between episodes and I'll get back to you. Alright, so, hope you join me for that. Uh, my name is Lucklight, thank you for watching. Have a good one.